Once again, we are reporting from the shadows of the White House, smack dab in a multi-state region, basically buried under snow. We talk about those records. Let me give you some perspective. An annual seasonal snowfall is about 15 inches here in Washington, D.C. This year, 56 inches. We're talking about the equivalent of basically four years worth of snow in just one winter. This is a town of movers and shakers, but there's not much moving going on. You're trying to pick up the car? It takes six firefighters, a human crane, to rescue their massive fire truck stuck in a snowbank. Turns out fire trucks don't have four-wheel drive and they can get stuck in the snow. The District of Columbia is running out of chains for their fire trucks and are borrowing them from as far away as Philadelphia. Out with the D.C. fire crew, we saw more ominous snow damage, an epidemic of roof collapses, including this building, which had to be searched to make sure no one was inside. We have a large homeless population in our city, and you never know when a uh, person may, may try to find refuge. No roof was safe. Even the Smithsonian Museum storage building collapsed under the weight of the snow. Whiteout conditions wreaked havoc all day. The snow is falling at a rate of one to two inches an hour, basically sideways. Look over here. Parking meters buried, fire hydrants buried under snow. But the fire department doesn't have to worry about finding those hydrants. We got a Google Earth application uh, that lists all 11,000 hydrants in uh, Washington, D.C. And uh, it gives us every one of the hydrants uh, for several blocks around the incident. The storm's zero visibility caused this 50-car pileup in Virginia. But the streets of Washington, D.C. were deserted. I've never seen anything like this before. There's just nothing out on the road. It's a ghost town. There's just nobody on the roads. Now, the threat of roof collapses remains very real, and some of it has to do with the structure. A pitched roof can stand up to snowfall a little bit better. The roof that we saw collapse last night, it's a flat roof, as, long as, as well as the Smithsonian. The snow has nowhere to go and basically buckles under the weight of that record-breaking snow.